Hey guys, Nick Miller today from Mark Supply Company. Today we have for you a 2013 Bobcat S770 rubber tired skid steer loader. Uh, I had a pair of these. We just sold one actually to a good customer. He's, he's bought three or four machines off of us up north. It was the brother to this one, uh, which a lot of you guys seen it advertised, I'm sure. Uh, we just got time to get this one done. Uh, I had a pair of these. They'd come out of an asphalt company. And what they'd done, they had run asphalt planing heads with them. And that's the work that they've done. They set in the, you know, the winter time. They weren't salt machines or anything like that, thank God. But um, these are very nice older machines. These are non-admissions. This actually has a true non-admissions um, V3800, I believe is what's in this one. Uh, 4,495 hours on it. The brother to it had 3980. Um, you know, so when you take those hours times a 10-year-old machine, that's 400 and 449 hours a year, okay? So you divide that by eight, you're talking, what, 37 or 38 hours a month if you divide that by 12 months of the year. So it's not like these machines are heavily hard-used machines. I've seen some 2021-year model machines that are farm machines that have 5,000 hours on them already, you know, so... Think about that for a second when, before you start saying a bunch of hours. It's not that. So uh, the white paint on these machines, these back corners we did paint, they were scuffed. But the H-frames, the loader arms, the side frames uh, down to here is all original. We did paint right here and then the front uh, front here because they're you know typically chipped up. Um, brand new uh, wheels and tires. Uh, we did put Galaxy XD uh, 2010 tires on them. Uh, 1265 uh, cab heat air high flow power attach has a 14 and a 7 pin attachment control device all the glasses in the cab it's a very very straight old machine um, there again i like this stuff it has a kubota motor in it come on back we're going to start around this machine back door excellent shape very nice and straight we did paint the back door go ahead and open her up in here for you uh, again powered by a kubota uh, it's a V3800T. These are a 92 horsepower machine. Um, and I'm sure there'll be some crybaby out there saying, oh, it has an EGR valve. Yes, it does. Uh, we've done nothing to them. I still classify these as a non-emissions machine because there again, they still have black smoke coming out the exhaust pipe. So there's no DPF, uh, no urea, no garbage of that nature. We did do a full service. All filters and oils have been changed, taken care of. Um, and that includes engine oil, fuel, air. Uh, there is hydraulic filter up here in the tank. Uh, there'd be a charge fan filter had been changed. Um, cabin filters are brand new. Um, like I said, we went through this thing so we knew what we had here, but a very, very good running old working machine. Coming around this side, everything matches. There's no cylinder leaks. Again, this does have a 14 pin on it. It also has a seven pin attachment control device on it. We did put a brand new Bobcat 74 inch heavy duty long bottom bucket. Power quick attach, high flow. Again, you're gonna have your two half inch couplers here with case drain, seven pin, 14 pin. Uh, this one cab handle right here has one little dent in it right here. Other than that, very good and straight. We did put a new door seal on. I need to see what went on there, but we will have that look at. Uh, heading in the cab. Seat's in very nice shape. There's one little wee wee spot right here. We left it because it didn't warrant a whole new seat. <clears throat> cab heater all works. We did put a brand new wiper, wiper arm. New coupler up here for the washer hose. Started here for you. you have no active warnings. There is all your ratings, bars, pressures, and bolts. Forty-four ninety-five on the hours. We will show you. It is a true high-flow machine. No hour, or no codes. Standard controls machine. We do have cab heat air, all works. Turn the camera back over to Matt. 
Uh, we're gonna fire this thing up. We're gonna run around, shoot everything works the way it's supposed to. Uh, one hook the bucket, show you the parking brake works, all that kind of stuff. So here we go. Strong, tight machine. Boom's good and tight. Again, cab's complete. These are a 3,350 pound lift machine. They're a big wheeled skid loader. And if you're looking to lift and you want something on the reach of the high side dump truck, here's something to take a look at. As far as I'm concerned, these old machines with the Kubota motors and I'm like, we literally cannot kill them. They were, these were good machines. Bobcat still makes a good skid loader. I just, I really like these Kubota engines, which there again, the Kubota engine in my opinion is what probably built Bobcat. Great engine. I'm not knocking the deuce on. The deuce on, in my opinion, you gotta keep your fuel extremely clean. There's well-known issues there with a lot of injectors, and it's just because their their fuel system, in my honest to God opinion, it, it it needs it needs work. It's just it, it can't take any water whatsoever. Where these old Kubotas, it wouldn't matter. You can drain the bottom off the filter, keep working all day. That there again, these days have changed. So. Yeah, the other nice thing on this, it's pretty simple as far as to work on in this, at least in this M-Series loader. Um, you get into some of your newer stuff, there again, you've got what, four or five computer boxes now. And it's, it's complicated, it's different. Where this machine here, they are still fairly basic. Now you can see that that boom is not all slopped out, it's getting tight. all works. We like to make sure our stuff there is complete. Keep in mind, I mean, our products, we do service them through them. I mean, you're not buying a brand new machine, but we do like to get through and mechanically know that our stuff's good. That's why we take time change filters, get through, make sure that stuff is all taken care of. Well, the thing you always want to start checking, when you rehook your bucket, always tilt up, make sure those pins are latched. It's just 
just a very good safety thing. Something I've always done, trying to show my guys here to do that. And there you can see the white bear is all working. All the windows open the way they're supposed to. There again, it is complete full cab. Um, really nice old machine. Runs and works excellent. Um, not afraid of this machine whatsoever. Uh, there again, if you're some guy that you're all hung up on hours, well, good luck today. That's all I'm going to say. It's it's hard to find good clean stuff. Um, this is a machine I owned this one and its brother for well over a year and a half till we got time to get them processed and through the shop. I do carry a lot of inventory and keep a lot of stuff here. Um, I was sick and I didn't get time to get through the stuff and kind of cleaning up some of that stuff now. So, but one other big thing, the cab paint is all original on that. It was not touched up. Um, we did paint the bottom gray, but other than that, really, really nice straight old machine. So if you're looking for a true non-emissions, Heather has an EGR. Uh, again, we've never done anything to those. A uh, big lift skid loader, 92 horse, um, S770, uh, I do believe, yeah, these are 92 horse. Um, cab heat air, power attach, high flow, here's something to take a look at. Nice straight old machine. So any questions, 814-658-3066, please check out our website, www.marksupplyco.com. Um, please see our website, we'll go ahead and help you. Matt takes a ton of pictures of this stuff, we do these videos. Uh, if you need buckets, fork, grapple, other attachments or implements you're looking for for this machine, give us a buzz. We also carry a pile of stuff for CID. Northeast distributor, we carry Erkskin, Vernig. Uh, we are a Bradco dealer. Uh, we keep a fair amount of product here, so if you're looking for a whole package of stuff, we can help you out. 814-658-3066. Thank you very much. Have a great day.